Hi everyone, hope you're well. Uh, welcome to Railway Empire. Uh, I'm in Liverpool. Sunny old Liverpool. Uh, this is uh, some of the uh, new content that uh, is coming this year. I've actually had this for a while. A side while. About six, seven months. I've not actually got around to uh, actually recording anything for it. Uh, gonna spend probably the next half hour or so just going th and through sort of getting started. Uh, this is um, one of the sort of DLC maps um, that you get with the complete collection. Uh, it gives you uh, a few. Uh, all of Great Britain is, is one of them. Uh, I've got lots um, to play with here. Uh, down here on the coast of Southampton and Brighton. Uh, got, uh, and Scotland up here. Uh, and we've got uh, Ireland over here um, so plenty to uh, keep busy uh, this is just a, a free mode that I've set up just so we can have a bit of fun and kind of do what we want uh, I've given myself a uh, full and uh, three million to start off with uh, you can choose either one two or, or three million I can start in Liverpool uh, and I've got no competitors so no one's going to fear I can basically do what I want and that's what I like. I don't need anyone interfering and building in cities before I get there. And uh, first of all, we need to build uh, a couple of stations. Uh, so I'm just going to remove that and have a look. So you've got quite a few different stations. Um, uh, just a small train station with a single platform to slightly bigger ones and some of the warehouses and. What I do is I usually stick to just two um, different types of stations. Um, for my city stations, uh, I use the large train station and signaling control. Yes, it's one of the most expensive. However, um, it's well worth it, uh, which you'll uh, you'll uh, soon see. Um, you do need to think ahead a bit. Uh, I'm going to try and stick this. Uh, sort of as far this way as I can. That's green, so I'm going to go ahead and build it there. There we go. Yep, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. What I would always advise you to do is when you build a station uh, in a city, uh, if you click on it and press square, we can construct a maintenance building. Uh, now, when you first start on playing, you can choose which character you, you want to play with. You've got a uh, gangster, uh, industrialist, and so on. I've chosen an engineer uh, called uh, Dr. Murphy, uh, obviously. And one of the bonuses is you get free maintenance buildings. So, it's definitely worth, uh, worth doing in your city stations. Keep your trains maintained, and they will break down less frequently. What I now need to do is I'm going to choose Manchester. Where's Manchester over here? I'm going to build another station. Again, the same one. Oh, no, not terminal. That's the one I want. And I'm going to stick that kind of. If I can get it sort of straightish. Uh, we'll stick it. Mm, yeah, there I think. And again, do that. Yep, thank you very much. Now, I'm going to take this uh, one step further and I'm also going to build a station um, that is uh, in a rural business, which is these. And here we've got McCarthy Estate. Uh, that's one that I'm going to choose. And the reason for that is, uh, when we look at Manchester, uh, we need to work out what they're going to want and uh, you've got the uh, sort of bottles of cider there which means there's a brewery there and they're going to want some apples uh, if we go there we can see that they're all right for apples but uh, we can certainly help them out with that and then they need to get rid of some of their cider so if I pop over to uh, the nearest one uh, which is McCarthy Estate I am going to use a, this train station here. It's two platforms, uh, two tracks, so that will be absolutely fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll stick it sort of around this side a bit. Oh, 
I'll stick it kind of there. I think that might work. Yeah. Marvellous. And now we need to lay some track. And I've... Uh, yeah, I've got my bearings a little bit wrong. That's not where I wanted to build that station. If I demolish it, I should get all my money back. Oh, uh, what? Oh, did I? Was that not the station that I demolished? What did you demolish then? I want to. Uh, oh, demolish the maintenance building. <laughs> that was good. Uh, actions, bulldoze. That's it. Demolish. There we go. Yeah, no, that's, 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 that's fine. I know what I'm doing. No. Demolish train station. You will get 300,000 refund for it. Marvellous. Do that. Right, let me try this again. Scroll down. Where are you? Where are you? That's the one. Right. You're going to go... Kind of better. That's better. That's better. Do me right. What I'm now going to do is I will take all this track. Before I do that, let me show you why I use these um, particular stations. That might be good. So, I'm going to do that. So the reason I use um, these stations is the there's, you can see, if I can get close enough, you can see, yeah, bear with, there you go. So you can see that there's a lot of fun sort of crossing over between the tracks, and what that means is whichever track the train happens to be coming into the station on, it can get to any one of the four platforms, which means it doesn't matter where the train's coming in or where it's going to, and it can pick which every one of those four platforms is available, so it can, so that station can always deal with um, four trains at any one time, and that's really going to help when you've got loads of trains going through uh, and minimise their wait time, uh, so you're not having trains sat around not earning you any money. That's why I use these. Back to Lansman track. So, no track. Give me track. Thank you. I'm going to go here, uh, and we will. What we need to do is we need to curve around quite a bit, kind of like that. We'll, uh, we'll put a few track points in just so that I can. Yep, yeah, leave me alone. Oh, no, I've done done this before. There we go. Right. So with the different um, track points, it means you can um, minimise the, the gradient, uh, which is definitely something that you're going to want to do, because otherwise it's really going to slow down um, your train, so they'll take forever. Uh, so I'm going to come to this track point, that puts it down to four, three, two, one, which is good. Uh, I'm going to Oh, oh no, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave that then. That's fine. Um, that's going to seven. That's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Go. It's two. I kind of want that to be. Oh, look at that. Actually, no. Okay, that's fine. I'll leave that at two. Don't really want and um, anything over and um, a two percent incline. Uh, and even that's a little bit on the steep side. Uh, does that want to go? Yeah, that goes down. That one can go down. That one can go down. That one can go down. There we go. That's evened it out a little bit. That will do. So we'll build that. And what I always qualifies. 
um, is and always make a parallel track. Uh, so we're going to start that sort of here. There we go. The reason for making that is you can have one track to go in one direction and one track to go in another. And that way, um, you're again going to be minimizing um, any um, delays. Okay, we'll go like that, and we'll do that. Now let's sort out this whole gradient thing. Uh, if you go up, there we go. That's looking all right. That's two. I can't move that one. Fine. But two, two, yeah, that seems all right. So now we've got the parallel track, we need to lay some signals. So what we're going to do is I'll have this one, which will do that. Uh, and I will uh, switch that around. What's that telling me about? Yeah, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, now, a bit of uh, useful information when it comes to your signals is the um, train will um, look for the signal that's to the right-hand side. I think it did come up. There we go. Trains only respond to signals on the right-hand side of the direction of travel. Uh, so that's for that one. And then I'll come all the way down to here. Uh, we'll put that there, uh, turn that around, and there we go. What I will also do um, is, yes, that's fine, I'm not bothered. What I'm going to do is put um, a couple of stop signals in. I'll put one there, and one there. Um, and the reason for doing that is um, it'll just mean that uh, I'm not going to have trains um, hogging a platform at the station. It means they can move and then they can wait down here and if they need to wait for a train ahead and to get out of the way. And otherwise it will stay at the station. For example, it would sit at Manchester until the train in front of it reaches Liverpool and gets out of the way. So again, it's all about minimising delays. Uh, and if you start the right way, you'll do just fine. So now I need to get some track going over to... Uh, where are we aiming for? We're aiming for there. Right. That is fine. I'm going to pick that there. I'll have a track point there. And. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll have to fiddle about with the, the gradients. Obviously, the cost is going to go up, but can't do too much about that, unfortunately. Uh, is making that lower going to help me in any way? Nope. Oh, I've got to be able to do better than four. Must be able to. Can mm, I add another track point in here? Yeah. Do we want to go lower with that? Oh, no. Oh, eight. That's uh, interesting. I think we're just going to have to go with that. It's only a short short bit of track so I'll just have to live with that no, leave that there uh, oh dear oh dear right, that's flattened that out okay Uh, yeah. 
bit concerned about this uh, this five percent mate. Uh, I'll put that up. If I add a track point here, maybe this way a bit down. No, oh, that's eleven. That's yeah. No, this is going all the wrong way. All the wrong way. This is. What you can find is if you fiddle about with it too much, you can actually make things worse. Yeah, who would have thought you can make things worse? Let's just... Whoop, do that and see what we've got. And if we add a couple of uh, track points in... That will tell us a bit more about the gradient. That might actually be alright. I'll go with that and see how that goes. Like I said, I'm going to add a switch point in. Come on. There we go. And a little bit like that. I'll just have to leave that at three. It's not ideal, but fine. Uh, signal so what we want is a directional signal that will do there put one down this end there we go and again I'll put one there and one sort of there did that even do it? Oh no, we, we, we'll see that I had the... Uh, it didn't give me a construct a stop signal. Uh, it just had to remove um, a prison triangle. It does that sometimes. Press to remove and it'll actually turn um, the control options to an X, which is to construct a stop signal. Right, there we go. Now I need to um, create a train line. So we'll go to new train and we'll get the run line sorted. And I'll explain what I'm doing here and why. What I want the train to do is pick up some apples from McCarthy Estate, drop them off at Manchester. It will then load up with stuff from Manchester, which it will carry all the way down here to Liverpool. Once it unloads at Liverpool, it's going to take some more stuff from Liverpool and I need to, tell, to then stop off at Manchester on the way back. Otherwise, what would happen is it will pick up stuff from Liverpool, it will go all the way back to McCarthy Estate, where it won't be able to pick anything up because it's already full of stuff from Liverpool, and it'll go to Manchester and then it will deliver it, uh, which is no good at all. So that's that route. I'm now going to add a locomotive. Uh, we've starting with um, the rocket, which uh, is actually the slowest train you can get in the game. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it's called a rocket, but there we are. So we're going to buy that. And that's now going to go and do its thing. So let's. There's my rocket. Whoops, wrong way. So if I come out of all that, and I'm going to go to an L2 to centre, uh, and then if I press square, I can ride along. And there we go. Oh, that's paused it again, whoops. There we go, loading up with bits. Keep pausing. This bit doesn't work terribly well. I want to fast forward time. Now I want time to go quicker. Come on. So why not? Come on. No, don't pause. 
Maybe I can't do it. While I'm actually riding a train. There we go. Now I've got to try and catch up with it. <laughs> oh. Wait for me. <laughs> Wait for me. You can see it's got a load of apples on board. Right. Here we go. Right. Oh, I see. I see. So you can't go faster and while you're riding along. That, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're... Uh, oh, I've got a bit of an incline here. Uh, how fast we're going? 11 mile an hour. That's not bad. <laughs> Whistle. Uh, you've got that as well. That's uh, whatever it is that we've picked up from Manchester for Liverpool. Oh, I can ride on the front. Look at look at this bridge work. I did that. Well, I say I did that, and I paid for it. <laughs> but how good does that look? I love it. So we've only got the three. Oh, let me think. The camera likes all the camera views while we're going along this massively long bridge, which uh, I think cost me quite a bit but there we are while we're travelling along I lost some of my coffee what, can I change camera now no okay fine well there it is anyway and um, so that's going to start making me some money so if we look at the top I've got uh, 1,948,000 and while that does its thing and makes me some money, let me show you um, two other bits. First bit is tasks. Now, it's entirely up to you how much you want to focus on this. When I've played, I don't really pay that much attention to it. There's things that I think I can do relatively easily, then um, that's what I'll do. Uh, but if, if not, nah, I'm not. Well, that bothered and you can see the first and um, task it's done by the the year so by 1838 that first one i need to connect 89,000 uh, odd people to my rail network and so far i've got 38,000 uh, bear in mind we're still in 1830 so uh, plenty of time for that uh, and then reach a population of 81,000 in plymouth uh, and, and and so on and the more of these you do, the better your score is at the end. Um, I'm playing through the whole 100 years. Uh, you don't have to. Um, you don't have to go all the way to 1930. You can do it um, just a shorter period. But you know, I want to have some fun. So doing the whole thing. Uh, and the other thing to show you is... Uh, oh, hang on, hang on. Just a thought. Just a thought. Sorry, bear with did I put a uh, maintenance station here? I did. And oh, where am I going? Do I still have one at Liverpool? No. Right, there we go, sorted. Right. That's all good. What are you going on about? Yep. So, yes, nothing's at Liverpool. Yep, we know that. And uh, did I tell you? Maybe not. Well, I'll tell you now. Uh, nothing gets uh, delivered to the rural businesses. All you do is pick up whatever they're selling. Uh, in this case, it's apples, uh, and they're being transported to Manchester. Uh, I've come out of that. Thank you. Uh, now, the other thing is shift and research. Uh, now, this is where you unlock all the cool stuff. So, that's the rocket that's already unlocked. And, and you get so many innovation points. You can increase the number that you get by... Um, hiring certain people or building a university and things in different cities and uh, sometimes there's bonuses that you can you can get to gain a few uh, extra innovation points and you need those to unlock uh, all this stuff uh, if you highlight it it will tell you what it is and what the benefit is so with a detonator it will increase the reliability of my locos by six percent I'm going to go ahead and do that. Thank you very much. Uh, now I need 200 to get the Adler, which is a 
slightly faster train and or to get the jumble which is the fastest train that's currently available once i've unlocked and enough of the other research items so if you look uh we've got the jumble highlighted on the left of it and it says one out of three that means that i need to unlock two a total of three research items to unlock and the jumble and to actually get access to it i need a hundred inflation points for it so that's how that works and the lines will tell you sort of how you can get it unlocked so for example and um, if i wanted the covered cab i would need to unlock the speedometer and or i would need to unlock the personnel office and the central shaft and to then get access oh no that won't work you have to get the speedometer so i thought there's a line between those two there isn't so unless i want the speedometer i'm not getting the covered cab that's how that works what you also have as well is personnel lovely personnel uh, and, and i'm just going to hire that person straight away uh, because they will bring some benefits uh, you can see to the, uh, the left loads of information uh, a special feature reduces maintenance requirements by 20 percent sounds quite useful and i just need to uh, stick her on a train uh, which is the train list press triangle to manage the train uh, and uh, if I go here I can assign employee to that and there we go and you can see that my money is slowly going up uh, so we're just going at standard time at the moment uh, now do I want that no you can bid in the auction uh, 10,000 are part of that Now I've got someone else I can uh, hire as well. Scroll through, uh, Professor. And so I've received some money in exchange for some innovation points. I personally don't do that because I want all the innovation points I can get my hands on. So I certainly don't want to be selling any off. Not for the measly sum of 92,000 pounds. So, now that we've kind of started to start growing things, and uh, by things I mean the cities, click on the city. Oh no, I don't want to buy that. No, I've done the wrong. I'll get it right. There we go. Get the screen up, and if you press square for production details, and then it will give you an idea of what they want and so for example at the top there and uh, that's wheat which they have none of so i could get some wheat to them and the sort of cow thing they've got no demand for that and seafood they've got nothing none coming in but they would probably like some of that and so it's really one of those two that we want to start and um, getting to manchester and um, on this page here where it says information top left fulfillment of demand now when that is 60 percent or over that's when the city will start growing and if it gets too low then the city um, will even uh, shrink so you want to keep an eye on that on um, your cities and um, as we can see it's 59 percent so it's staying roughly as it is at the minute uh, but we want to get that growing so I will get some seafood to them once I have some more of my coffee cows coming in over Manchester uh, didn't actually mean to press that button but there we are so if we look and see where we get some seafood and the closest place is over here at uh, Murphy Sea Farm so I need to build any stations there. It should be this one. Spin that round. Stick it up here a bit. Uh, I reckon that will do. 
Marvellous. Yeah, what are you trying to tell me with that exclamation mark? It's trying to tell me something. Can't see what. I will move it anyway. It can't have been important. Right, track construction. Now, when you build track, you will notice that the game automatically pauses. It's quite handy. Oh, it's the easiest way to get from Mercy, C M Mercy Murphy C Farm to Manchester. And that's going to be to bring some track down here. Uh, need to be a little bit and careful because we've got a business there. Don't want you to join to it. Parallel tracks, that's good. Yeah, we'll just keep it coming. Might need to uh, have a, a little bit of an. Mm, what's going on here? All right, I'll let's do it this way. Doesn't seem to be liking me too much. Does it? Hmm. Okay. No problem, mate. Do it a slightly different way, which is which is fine. I can I can be flexible. Although it would appear that this can't be. <laughs> I'll put that there. Can I? Oh, oh. No. Last. Let's try doing it this way. No. Doesn't. Doesn't like me today. Uh. Doesn't want to go there. No, go there. Go on. Go green. Go green. Nope. Nope. You really do not like me, do you? Oh. Ah, oh, too sharp. It's not too sharp. It's not. Yeah, mate. Yeah, that's going to miss the station. That is. Okay. Oh no, no, that's gone a bit. <laughs> it's going back on itself. How how is it ever too sharp? That is not too sharp. It can be a little bit sensitive, clearly. Okay, I'll tell you what, if we do that because the direction signal isn't, where is the signal, where did I build that thing? Well I think that might work, so if I say build, and then if I go to miss signals yeah no that that works that works so I'm going to build a second line all the way back down here I'm spending the money well uh, we'll take it from which reckon from here yeah that will do Gonna be awkward Go green, go green. Oh, oh, oh that's eleven percent gradient though. Alright, fine. I mean I don't have to do that. Okay, let's do that. I can go from here, I'm not bothered. 
There we go. Lovely stuff. Just round the inside like this. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, I just need. Oh, been awkward again. Oh no! I want you to see me. That's my fault. Can I sneak something in there? No. Do is uh, don't think I'm going to get away with sneaking a bit in there or there. Okay, that's fine. Like I said, I can be flexible. There. Right now, why is that five percent? Just the height of that one. No, we want to go up. No, we don't. We don't want to go up. But if I go down. No. And it must. I don't want 5% gradient there. Still five percent. I don't see how, but okay. Let's just leave it. Yeah. Now what? See if I'm bothered. Let's check everywhere else. Everywhere else is fine. Build route. Now we do another train. <laughs> right from Murphy Sea Farm. You'll go to Manchester. And that is all you need to do right now. Add a locomotive. Uh, which will be that. Oh, no. McCarthy. No. If I... Oh, there we go. I've already done it. Didn't realise I had. Marvellous. So, what we now have, if we speed up time a bit, no, don't pause it. Come on, there we go. It's two trains. Uh, I'm down to just over 1.7 million. We'll sit back for a minute and watch the money go up. And watch time whiz by. While I have some of my coffee. There you go, see it's going well. Making a nice bit of money. And we've got uh, Manchester will start to grow very shortly. We click on that. Oh, there we go. So that's still 59%, but just need to give it time for the train to actually reach there. Oh, what we got? Big or left the harbour. So you get these uh, reports on about history uh, coming up in the newspaper. Oh, someone spotted Bigfoot, did they? Okay. Just wait for it. Manchester should start to grow. We've got some uh, people we can hire. An inventor. Uh, oh, provides you with ideas and inventions which give you 120 innovation points. I will have that. You immediately receive 120 innovation points. Yes, please. Market Crier. Promotes the possibility of your trains and increases mail of passengers by 50%. Uh, not sure if that's going to benefit me much at the minute. Let's check on innovation points. How are we doing? I've got 370. So, my only option is to get that. Uh, and then I need a few more points to get that. And then I can get the John Bull. Uh, which I think I'm definitely going to go for. 21 mile an hour speed. Traction is 21%. That will do. Ah, 
Ah, I think Manchester is growing now. If I get rid of them. Yeah, you can see it's got the green arrow and it's now got two bars. 78% fulfillment of demand. And you can see the number of people increasing. Marvellous. So that's Manchester. Now, I don't want to buy it. So, the only thing that they really want now is wheat. Where can I get wheat from? That's uh, over there. Mm, yeah, might leave that one. You don't have to tick every single box um, to get the city um, to grow. And you just need to um, get most of them. Uh, now, what's going on here? I've got a train that is waiting. Where are you heading? You're heading that way. Why are you waiting? You were waiting for... I, I don't know. I don't know why you are waiting for, uh, for that one. Oh, random breakdown. Lovely. Uh, what I'm going to do, this is something that you do need to think about, is a supply tower. I have a stick it sort of here then and that will um, mean any train using any one of those four tracks can get some water marvellous and that uh, oh hello in the first note, uh, they won't wait for a job you have to hire yep yeah, that's fine and oh okay we've got three people to hire uh, a conductor yeah, you'll do. Uh, yep, so if they give me money uh, in exchange for innovation points, no thank you. Now let's have a quick look before we finish and see where we are here. 352, I can get a speedometer, and because that will increase the power of my locomotives by 4%, that can only help. Uh, Personnel office, eh, I could uh, happily live without that. So next time, uh, once we've got a few more innovation points, I can get the jumble, uh, replace the rockets with them, and they'll go nearly twice as quickly. So, yeah, that, ladies and gents, is uh, a slightly longer than I'd anticipated introduction to Railway Empire. And, and we've got money coming in there, lovely stuff, another random breakdown, it's fine, and we've got some tracks going, Manchester is growing, and you can see there's some more fields that have appeared there, and Murphy Sea Farm should be doing alright as well, and we'll look probably at what I can do with Liverpool next, and probably Wrexham, uh, and start heading down that way. Uh, so there we have it. Have a pause. Thank you. That um, is the introduction. So and I will um, quickly just recap because we've gone through quite a few um, things today. And um, you don't deliver any goods to rural businesses. You only pick up from there. And um, if you you need to make sure that your trains have somewhere to drop off any goods they're carrying before they go to the rural business, otherwise they're not going to pick anything up. Hence I'll tell the uh, train to stop at Manchester on the return leg as well. Um, and we've got the innovation points to unlock faster trains and technology to help the, um, your train company grow. Uh, and, and We've also covered a few of the bits that I can't remember. Signalling as well, briefly. And making parallel tracks so you can have trains going in either direction. Maintenance buildings and, and the and lovely big, most expensive station you can get. And, but that allows the trains to use any platform regardless of which track they come in on. Which is fantastic. And so thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And leave a like uh, and subscribe, of course. Uh, always appreciated. Uh, if you do.
do have any questions, drop me something in the comments. I'll try and answer if I can. And uh, we'll see how we get on and what happens next time. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.